Illegal building techniques are commonly known as certain types of LEGO connections that can, over time, permanently damage your LEGO pieces, as they are stressing the elements beyond the physical capabilities of what they were designed to do in the first place. You really don't want to destroy your LEGO, right? Let's take the example of the thumbnail. A plate stuck in between studs of another LEGO element is illegal. Due to the measurements of the plate stuck here, the studs of the other element are being pulled outwards, making it so that it is under stress. This becomes more visible if you do the connection a couple times on a single plate. It starts bending it upwards, thus giving you actual visual confirmation of how badly it's hurting the piece. A tile, however, at a microscopic level is slightly thinner than a plate, thus making this connection weird but legal. If that wasn't proof enough, here's a couple examples of the technique being used in actual LEGO sets. Here on the Apollo Saturn V LEGO set, a tile with an American flag is stuck between the studs of this little moon landing scene. The core structure of this Empire State Building LEGO set has a ton of tiles stuck between studs, and my favorite example of them all has to be the tombstone tile with my initials, TC, stuck between the studs of the small cemetery of the Haunted House LEGO set. Set. Now, a technique being used in a LEGO set doesn't always mean it's legal. In 2002, this promo model was made to celebrate the LEGO Land opening in Germany. The issue is that the two chrome silver macaroni elements were connected with a technique pin that does not have space to expand and be in click position, which could potentially break the elements. It's easier showing the element in its natural environment with LEGO bricks with holes. Here it's possible to see this indentation in the holes where the pin has room to expand and be in click position, thus making this more than legal. After that incident with the car model, LEGO has made huge improvements on quality control on their LEGO sets and elements so that situations such as this one never happen again. But the fan community doesn't care about that and has been using the Technic pins illegally for years now. The most common illegal technique is using these types of pins to make stud reversal techniques, such as these, where you want the build to go in opposing directions, but, as I mentioned before, the pin doesn't have space inside the tube of the brick to expand and be in click position, therefore making it illegal. Fans do love stud reversals, so they also use this popular technique, jamming cheese slopes between the underside of bricks or plates. As you're placing these slopes you can feel how unnatural the connection is and the extra strength required to place the pieces in place. The pieces are under stress, so illegal. Same thing when jamming tiles in a similar way between plates for more stud reversal techniques, but again, stressing the elements beyond what they were designed to do and while cool looking, still illegal. But if people want stud reversals so much, there's legal options to do so, like actual pieces that do the job by themselves as these examples here, or combinations of elements like the use of the lamp holder elements between round plates that I really like, to add light bricks with an extra plate also do the job, different angled brackets with a brick in between, brackets connected to the same element also do the trick, unless you do it like this and then it becomes illegal again you can actually see the elements not wanting to stay together. Two of these against each other are ok to use though, and my favorite stud reversal techniques actually reverse the stud's direction as well, like using these two small 1x1 one one round elements, or for a sturdier option, using these two elements instead. You might be tempted to use jumper plates with Technic bricks to reverse the studs as the previous examples, and with the first jumper plate used, you're ok, but as soon as you had a second one, the build suddenly suddenly becomes illegal, as the whole of the element is being stressed beyond its physical capabilities and design purposes, the Technic pins. Same with studs, one is ok and can still be taken apart, but with two studs the resistance becomes too great and the elements will be under stress. A similar thing happens with car wheel bases, they have these pins sticking out that resemble Lego bars in their dimensions, which allows for clips to be used here. However, the lamp holder elements are not ok as they are stressing the tip of the wheelbase, not allowing it to be in the click position. Lego bars themselves can also be the cause of illegal builds, especially the transparent ones when combined with other transparent elements. PC elements against each other cause great amounts of friction, making it nearly impossible to take apart after a while, especially for kids. 
circular structures are some of the most magical and complex shapes that people want to try and achieve with a system that's mostly square based like Lego. And that hasn't stopped anyone with Lego track elements to try these before, right? But the amount of pressure required to have these pieces connecting should be a good indication of how legal this build is. It's not. People get creative and will at some point in time also try to bend big amounts of 1x2 elements into giant ring shapes. I used to be one of those people a few years ago. Yes, it's illegal. Arrest me. But I've learned my lesson and a few ways to do this legally is for example using curved slopes with bricks with studs not on top for great looking circular shapes. You can do the same with slightly bigger slopes with a 6x6 core or even just using good old regular plates as well. Using similar techniques allowed me to do builds like Pac-Man and a ghost, a miniature globe or some pokeballs. Pretty cool, right? For circular walls it would be better to use a combination of regular elements and round elements, as that gives the build enough wiggle room to be bent at your will legally. These 1x2 rounded corner plates are also great for that and for the Technic fans 1x2 beams with long Technic pins are also an option. It's also legal to subscribe and YouTube thinks you'll like this video next. Check it out and goodbye!